Hi, I'm Tom Casella, and in this video I'm going to show you how I apply the Botonic Solids to the Flower of Music, and the results I found are pretty amazing. And it leads me to believe that God, or the creative force of the universe, is actually a musician. And I'm going to walk you through my application process right now. The Flower of Music is a concise musical tool that is a perfect tonal array that captures all the harmony in Western classical music. We are going to convert the Flower of Music from a tonal array to a numerical array by setting middle C at zero and number all the notes up and down by half step with positive and negative integers. The flower of music and its building block turn into a numerical array and an equation that equals zero. Everywhere this equation fits into this tessellation. It's always seven up or four up or three down or three up or seven down. Now to apply the platonic solids, we are going to shift from the flower of life array to isometric graph paper to make it easier to see the lines. We then apply the fruit of life and then connect the center of each circle to create Metatron's cube, which I then found that each line follows a numeric multiples pattern that I color coded and each color represents a different harmonic series. When drawing out the tetrahedron, the lines count by tens, elevens, sevens, threes, fours, and ones. And when reduced, equals equation that equals zero. The hexahedron counts by threes, fours, and sevens, and when reduced also creates an equation that equals zero. The octahedron counts by threes, fours, tens, elevens, sevens, and ones. And when drawn in its smallest form, creates an equation that will also create zero. The icosahedron counts by the same multiples as the octahedron, has more grid points, but when reduced to its smallest form, it also is an equation that equals zero. The dodecahedron is very interesting. It does have color-coded lines following multiple series, but the grid points don't fall onto any of the numbered grid points. The grid points for the dodecahedron are created from the intersecting lines of the other four platonic solids. This physically and metaphysically makes sense, because the dodecahedron represents ether or consciousness. So therefore, this geometric shape can fit inside of the other four platonic solids without taking up space. And it doesn't have grid points because it's not a physical thing. And since there's only one grid point that equals zero, the dodecahedron also equals zero. This is how your mind can exist inside your body without taking up space, or spirit into matter without taking up space. This leads me to further Plato's theory of everything, that all of reality breaks down into these five perfect polyhedrons, but these shapes are formed harmonically with these equations. This also coincides with the theories of ancient yoga and modern physics, that everything is vibrational, and that the numeric array of the flower of music could be the blueprint or building code of the entire universe. This theory can be tested and proven with the right technology, such as Dr. Emoto's technique of freezing water, or through cymatic measuring devices, and I'm looking for the medium to help me do so. I believe it is possible to manipulate matter with these harmonic equations, and if so, it stands to prove that God or the creative force of the universe is in essence a musician and compose the universe with vibrational arrays. Now, this will also open up new methods of sound healing. The word universe literally means one song. Please stay tuned, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. You can find already published research at TomFound.com, and you can find Casella's Flower Music on Facebook. All the links are in the description below. I'm Tom Casella, and I hope to see you real soon.